Scorn is an upcoming atmospheric first-person horror adventure game set in the nightmarish universe of the unfamiliar and the wrong. Scorn will be released on the Windows Store, Steam, the Epic Store, and Xbox Series X on October 21st. It will also release as a Game Pass Day 1 game, meaning if you have Game Pass you will be able to play the game for free on release day. This is a game I am extremely excited for, and I'd like to spend the course of this video explaining why, so with really no more further delay, let's just get right into this. To start, I must say that survival horror games is one of my favorite genres that exist in gaming. From the beautiful asylums of Outlast, to the introspective nature of Silent Hill, to the futuristic alien isolation, horror is an amazing genre that confronts the player with the strange and the unknown. In horror, it is only by facing down the unknown and confronting it directly that the player can come out on the other side of the game successful. There's many reasons that horror holds this special place in my heart, but one of the largest reasons that it does is the world building. If you're a regular fan of mine, you know that I spend large portions of my time analyzing every minute detail about games, and in horror, this action is repaid in full. By analyzing and delving deeper into the unknown that surrounds and encapsulates horror, we can come to understand this unknown even more. And by understanding the unknown, we can either learn to accept why it is the way it is and overcome our fears, or grow an even deeper fear as the unknown is revealed to be the wrong, something that is innately just foreign to us and our brains simply are unable to accept it as normality. This holds relevance with scorn, as even just a casual glance, the storytelling from the atmosphere can be seen leaking off the walls, perhaps even literally in some instances. To quote the devs of Scorn real quickly, every location contains its own theme, puzzles, and characters that are integral in creating a cohesive world. Throughout the game you will open up new areas, acquire different skill sets, weapons, various items, and try to comprehend the sights presented to you. A direct statement that the storytelling will be done through atmosphere is like music to my ears, but to a casual player who isn't obsessed with you know delving deeper into the unknown, this is still good news. It means that every atmosphere, environment, encounter, room, enemy in the entire game is specially crafted to be telling a story. And whether or not you want to know what that story is, it's still going to mean that it's specifically and well crafted. And I think we should all take some enjoyment out of that. We can catch a glance of this, this promise of greatness from the gameplay reveal trailer. The atmosphere here is suffocating and wrong. Every single room and frame is foreign and as abstract to normality as it can get. The enemies all seem to have climbed straight out of our nightmares while the weapons we use to repulse them hold very similar origins. The puzzles are in no way human, using the strange and the abstract to add to the challenge as the constant threat of the nightmares will work around every corner. The rooms and walls shriek of suffocation and well-crafted design of tech far beyond our comprehension. But this tech is of the wrong nature, being far separated from the pristine chrome and energy weapons of the average futuristic vision, instead being focused on the flesh and the material, giving even more of a sense of just wrongness. It isn't what we expect, and it isn't right, it just feels unnerving. We can't ignore the decay either. Every room tells us that the civilization, whatever it may have been, is no longer. Its peak is long past, and something must have made it so. And if something could bring down the future, what hope do we, a lone being lost in the hive of unknown, possibly have of escaping it? This helpless nature is another key component of horror game, but in Scorn, it is amplified. As unlike many horror games, we are armed in this one. But armed or not, it doesn't matter. Our weapons are weak. This is shown by the rifle taking at times three shots to kill a small grub. And they are limited in ammo, as displayed by the rifle's six shot capacity. We will need to be careful with when and where we decide to fight, and understand that even if we do decide to confront our fears, they may just be stronger than us. I've been rambling for a bit now, but I hope this somewhat expresses why I'm excited for this game. Again, as I said in the beginning, it releases on the 21st of October, just in time to play for Halloween. If you're a Game Pass owner, I hope you consider pre-installing it, since it will be free for you, and if you're not, this game could seriously be worth the purchase of 35 USD. But really, that's all I've got for you guys today, and I hope to see you all next time.